Morning Hire. We're going to move on today to one of our final poems by McCaig. This is the fifth out of our six poems which we've studied, and this one is called Assisi. Now you'll find I'm going to read this through just as a quick introduction just now. On Glow, you'll find there is a PowerPoint which is going to take you through line by line, looking at some of the language that's been used in this particular poem. Again, there'll be activities which go along with that, similar to what you've approached your other poems so far. So, we're going to get started just now. This is Assisi by Norman McCaig. The dwarf, with his hands on backwards, sat slumped like a half-filled sack on tiny, twisted legs, from which sawdust might run. Outside the three tiers of churches built in honour of St Francis, brother of the poor, talker with birds, over whom he had the advantage of not being dead yet. A priest explained how clever it was of Giotto to make his frescoes tell stories that would reveal to the illiterate the goodness of God and the suffering of his son. I understood the explanation and the cleverness. A rush of tourists clucking contentedly fluttered after him as he scattered the grain of the word. It was they who'd passed the ruined temple outside, whose eyes wept pus, whose back was higher than his head, whose lopsided mouth said, Grazie, in a voice as sweet as a child's when she speaks to her mother, or a bird's when it spoke to St Francis. So that's our poem over three stanzas, a CC by Norman McCaig, and you'll find an introduction to it on Glow now. I shall see you there.